This is a part of the value proposition series where we're focused on products and services and customer jobs to get done. So often your products and services that you're selling should reflect and be really connected to your customer and what they're trying to accomplish. So quickly, we'll go into a small example of what a customer job could look like. One example that we've highlighted is a home buyer, prospective home buyer. It might be somebody who's really at the end of the day trying to find a place that's safe that can shelter them. So purchasing a home, there are several ways of doing that. And the jobs that someone might entail might include research, um, figuring out the right neighborhood, considering what schools are good, really honing in on what the market looks like. They might do this in several different ways. If somebody's moving back to their hometown, they might leave the current residence that they're living in to move to the hometown and maybe they live with their parents for a little while as they look for a home with a realtor. Maybe they rent an Airbnb for a little bit as they look at homes online. Maybe they stay in their current residence and look before they take the plunge and move. So there are several ways that that might look and several ways that they might execute. A few products and services that meet that customer job to get done would include a realtor who is someone who's offering a service that meets the customer needs. It's tailored to the customer custom. It takes a lot of time and research, but it's a service that they're offering that says, I'm going to help you step by step find the right home in the right neighborhood with all of your bucket list items. A product that might be offered might be something like Realtor.com, Redfin.com, or Zillow, where customers can hop online instantly and review their neighborhoods of choice at a moment's notice. So they're not dependent upon a realtor necessarily, but they may not get that custom tailored approach. Different strokes for different folks and there are different ways of offering or meeting the customer jobs to get done. So the things that we're selling range from very obvious to less obvious. The obvious things might be the wares on your shelf, the things in a store, or a contract that you've created for consulting, or a bundled package of web design services. For example, those might be some obvious things that people are creating to meet customer jobs to get done or customer needs. Something less obvious that we want to point out that you can also sell are things that you can license. And often those things include intellectual property, which might be a copyright, patent, trademark, or trade secret. A really interesting example for me of what those things can look like might be a restaurant franchise. Um, this is an interesting way to consider expanding a business and it might be a way where someone who's entrepreneurial, who maybe doesn't want to take on the risk of starting something from scratch, can license a name, can license operations, procedures, uh, recipes, and a few other things in order to start a business kind of from scratch, but not really. It's like they have a rule book. So that rule book becomes a licensing fee. It, whether that's annual or it might be monthly, it kind of depends on the agreement that's constructed. And often those range from tight control from a franchise owner or a, a franchiser to less control from a franchise owner. It kind of depends on the deal that you're constructing. As long as you understand the customer jobs to be done, customer pains and gains, you should be well on the right track to selling your own product or service. And we want to ensure that you're a step ahead of the rest of your competition. And in order to do that, a real firm understanding of who your customers are and what they're really trying to achieve at the end of the day is where you need to go to be most successful. For more information on intellectual property, check out our video that's coming up soon. We have an awesome attorney and a law professor who provide you with amazing intellectual property techniques, tips, and tricks. 
Hi, Cassie and Morgan here. Thanks for tuning in to Bossy. We are really excited and hope that you enjoyed the video that you saw. If so, subscribe to our channel. Also, we offer awesome retreats for women and female founders who are looking to expand and grow their business. Also, thank you to our partners, Cambium and Place at Old Sawmill District, Missoula's newest urban neighborhood where you can live, work, and play.